Welcome back guys, today I'm going to be looking at a giant solar sail ship which was uh, completed before the specification for the race came out. There's a couple of these that were really big but this one's, ex this one's impressive. Not that others weren't but look at the detail on it so uh, I don't think anyone can sort of question that. It does look awesome. Um, like I say, this is a solar sailor from player Darth Toa. And it's named the Virtue. So I'm loving what he's done with the uh, see the wedges here. Those wedges there leading all the way up to the sail. It's kind of like what I tried to do and then didn't. <laughs> <coughs> um, I like what he's done with the sail, so he's gone with the exposed crystal for the uh, lighting on the sail. He's gone with water for the material. He's used what looks like triangles and circles, but there is actually a curve to it, which is quite a nice touch. If we go up and look at the edges of the sails here, you can see that he's got some uh, corner pieces, or he's using, sorry, wedges on different angles. I'm guessing that these must be some kind of stabilization. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. They look awesome though, so. Got some big turrets on there. Those turrets look like they mean business. I'm hoping that these are some kind of escape pods, but they might be drones or even some kind of smaller turret maybe. And then we've obviously got some kind of impulse engine. Could be a dish though, radar, for laser communication. <laughs> so yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Um, let's go and take a look inside and uh, see what the interior has to offer. I think he's waiting for me by the door, so uh, let's see if we can find it. Ah, here we go, this looks like him. Oh, 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 chasing. Where's he going? Oh, mate, show me the door. Nice. So here we are inside the sail ship, and as you can see, he's got a giant power core with shields interspersed. I'm going to stay in fly mode so I can get around. Okay, so we've got a weapons computer down there by the looks of it. Moving on top. Looks like it's factioned up. Ah, the core. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to head to the bridge. The red light, I believe, means the bridge. Okay. So this is the crew quarters in here. Complete with tables. Not bad for a solar sail ship interior, mate. Very well done. Very well done. Most people don't have the room. So I'm being told that down here is the main observation corridor. So let's try and get down here. Is he with me? Yeah, he's with me. A little bit of sail. <laughs> ah, this is the little glass pod that you can see on the front. Very cool. Very cool. Kind of wish I could see 
above a little bit, but it's only because the sounds always look so awesome. Yeah. So let's go back down here and see what else we can find. No, oh, I completely missed that. That's the weapons computer there. In the middle of the room. Just there. You can barely see it. So let's move back. Back to the core. Past the core. So we're into the white room now. Another airlock. So this would be science and hydroponics. I'm loving these little glass corridor sections. That's a nice touch. Oh, look at this. This is a great sail ship. Makes me want to build another one. Oh. It's great. It's got a tree in there. Well done. Uh, I like these raised walkways. That's a good idea, that is. So you're saying there's water down there? Uh, so that's like a little water pool. Sort of hydroponics, he says. <laughs> I think he's done a good job. Got a little path. Plants on each side, what more do you want? Nice big windows. Check for aliens. So, in case you were wondering, the uh, two doors on each side there are airlocks to space. So, let's go back. And uh, check out the remaining rooms. So, what's behind the yellow airlock? Looks like we're actually out in space. Oh, the captain's quarters is a docked ship. So obviously it can be detached and uh, fly away if need be. So in here we've got a command op or operations table. And a bed, <laughs> a luxurious bed, along with a core and a weapons computer. Or a faction block, maybe. Yeah, faction block. Very nice. Nice idea. I'm liking that. Dockable rooms. So underneath the core is a docked ablative shielding unit, which I'm guessing will take some of the damage before any hit anything hits the core, and that's a really good idea. That's genius. If he gets hit from below, that thing will take the damage first, which is not a bad idea. That's a really good idea, actually. Well done, mate. Well done. So, the Virtue Solar Sail Ship by Darth Toa. Uh, thanks for giving me the guided tour around the ship. It was actually a lot bigger inside than uh, most of the sail ships that I've seen. Nice detailed interior too, especially for a ship of this kind and size. Uh, lots of things going on with docked, docked rooms. I really like that, uh, just over here on the one side. Got a docked officer's quarters. That's brilliant. Modular rooms, people. That's a good idea. And a really impressive uh, solar sail design. If you look at the split ring here. That's grand. That's truly grand. I might actually ask him to park this one at the finish line because he can't take place in the race. And I think he's already got another sail ship built. So uh, I'm going to ask him if he wants to maybe put this at the finish line. Because that would be cool. We've got another big one as well. We can put them both up there. One on each side. That'd be cool. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to have plenty more solar sail ships and info on the regatta coming up over the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned. Follow me at Mushroom Fleet on Twitter 
Uh, and if you want to get involved, it's mushroomfleet.co.uk. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.